Alright, well, using all the skills I've ever had in this game, we're gonna fight the McFamily. Hopefully they stay way up there where I can just do... I hit the ball already. Oh, the ball's dead now. Now I can open fire without worry. I've been having way too much fun with this one. Before we do anything, there's a chance your bullet will split into extra bullets. Because I like more bullets. And to get both items, there's a chance your bullet will split into extra bullets, or your bullets will explode on impact or after they travel a certain distance. Yeah, I'm gonna like this. Even with just a basic gun, I'm gonna like this. Probably also hurt myself pretty bad, but that extra damage is nice. Already hurt myself, so it's probably gonna be a long range type of gun day. But that's what I get for wearing a bag of popcorn on my head. And interestingly, exploding bullets explode everything. Like, everything, everything. I really need to remember this is a double edged sword. I do a lot of damage, but I also hurt myself really badly. I feel like I'm gonna find a lot of extra items thanks to this explosion. The more pets you have, the more bullets you fire. Oh, I only have one pet. No pet so far. Look, I can't count at the best of times. Cut me some slack. But it's easy enough for me to stack three or four pets, and that means three or four extra bullets and explosions. There's my first pet. Blocks enemy bullets. Now I get two bullets. Or double the damage, or double the danger, depending on how you want to look at that. The double bullets are nice. Whatever this is is going to be very telling as to how this run is going to go. Crystal hard candy. Every time your pet evolves, you'll drop two crystals. That's not really great. But explosions? Oh, that actually worked. I thought that was just going to be a waste of five coins. What do we have here? A machine that costs 15 coins to use. Why, this was a waste of five coins to get in. Oh, this is going to come as a surprise to a lot of people, but I am not musical at all. All right, well, let's see if Tick likes explosions. What are your thoughts on those? <coughs> Dying pretty quick. Uh, again, I'm having trouble seeing stuff, but it seems to be eliminating all the enemies he's firing at me. I've gotta be careful not to let my 8-ball get too much damage, but we got a devil mask. What does this do? This is the craziest thing you've ever seen. Greatly increase your fire rate. Oh, this is gonna be trouble. This is level 1, and my damage already looks like this. Alright, challenge room. I need those to get away from me before I start fighting them, otherwise I'll hit myself. That's gonna be the biggest challenge in this run at this point. Not hurting myself. Like that. Yeah, I can see this gun being counterproductive at times if the enemies are close to me because I can't shoot them once they're close. I can use melee damage, but that's iffy because I tend to just fire bullets anyways. Uh-oh. I'm actually going to have to be pretty careful with challenge rooms because they're hard to do with this gun. But I got a kitty mask. It's raw power, hard to control, reduce your rate of fire, but greatly, greatly increase your weapon damage. That's probably counterproductive. I want faster fire rate for more explosions. Gonna move forward with extra caution. Just gotta stay out of explosion range for myself. This one's definitely gonna be a lot of fun, but also super stressful. Immunity to explosions would be a great item to find right now. You have a chance to recover hearts each time you kill an enemy with bombs. I wonder if explosions count, because that's kind of a weak item for what I'm building right now. Yay, we got Jack, the most annoying NPC ever. This run doesn't know what it wants to give me, but look at all those explosions. Okay, didn't know that guy could go through the floor. What, does he not hurt me though? He dies very quickly. Wild monkey. More bullets. Which... Looks something like that. A lot of bullets coming out. It's hard to miss at this point. And we got a zombie sister plus a shield. So that's that many bullets. I can't count. Jack leveled up. And I'm pretty sure I get something every time that happens. I have a lot of followers. That's going to make these rooms very easy. I don't even know what happened there, but everything died. A new gun. I don't know. Do we think it's going to be better than this one? Twins. Increase your weapon damage in the current room. Oh, this might be better. It's definitely faster firing, and that means more explosions, which means more damage, so I'm gonna try it for the boss. Once again, I'm breaking my own rule. This'll probably go fine. It's just Bittercoin anyway, whatever his name is. Uh, okay, explosions are kind of getting in my way. Whoops, hitting myself now, and I think we're good. As long as we're hitting him, he's melting. Uh, okay, we got lots of coins out of that. I was mostly concerned about firing at him and not really paying attention, but he died. We didn't lose too much health. We got Pain Drop. Increase your weapon damage and rate of fire. Yeah, I can live with that. Two challenge rooms. Before we do those, let's get our item on this level in case it's one that protects me from explosions. Because I need protection. Uh, another free item, chocolate coin. Every time your pet evolves, you'll drop coins. Wonderful. It's honestly kind of hard to say if I'm well, getting lucky or unlucky at this point. Because I'm finding a lot of good things, but also a lot of bad things. There's one enemy that's causing me more grief than anything else. And those are those guys that teleport right up to my face right away. Because I fire a shot, and it hits them, and then I explode. I also have this stupid blue mummy who scoops up hearts every time he sees them and maybe drops a shield out of the deal. Uh, add shield, add some, uh, some attacks will deal no damage to me. Alright, I feel a little better with that. My strategy from this point forward is to try and keep enough health that I can tank through the bosses. Because I somehow feel like damage isn't going to be an issue anymore. 
All right, well, let's do something stupid and try a challenge room. As long as everything stays mostly away from me, I'll be okay. Especially these things. Okay, we got hit by one of our own explosions only. Less painful than I thought it would be. Now we get our item. Golden bird. The more coins you have, the faster you can shoot. Excellent. I'm going to save up coins. Let's do the other challenge room. So far, so good. These are all easy. These are all easy. What else we got? These are pretty easy. Okay, that was easy. What does this do? Increase your weapon damage and bullet velocity. Bullets go faster. I mean, already, I don't really think there's many things that could stand in the way of all that damage. I don't have a ton of health for this, but I'm pretty sure I can keep my distance a little bit from this boss. Uh, the damage is definitely up there for sure. It's hard to keep track of everything going on. As long as he's staying up there, though, I'm pretty happy. I feel like they have damage caps. You can only do so much damage so quick to bosses. And I think I understand why. Whoops. For, uh, oh, there's a shield. Uh, let's just kill him and then we'll get the shield. Two pieces of shield. Excellent. All right, well, we're doing lots of damage. Add extra bullets per shot. Increase your weapon's range. Not sure if this gun fires more than two bullets, but I'm okay with that. I really need explosion immunity. That's all I want right now. If I get that, the game will be laughably easy. On the plus side, my blue mummy and Jack have both died. So that makes it a little bit easier for me. Plus we got this. There's a chance killing an enemy will release an explosion from me. Just what I wanted. More danger. Damn, that's a lot of stuff in there. Might give this a try or two. Gonna lose a little bit of attack speed due to losing coins. But maybe that's worth it. I'm not wasting more than 10 coins on this. All right, moving on. To a challenge room. Though I feel like it's not gonna be much of a challenge as long as I can keep stuff a little bit away from me. And these guys. Easy peasy. And we get one of these. Upgrade your weapon, increase your rate of fire. I definitely needed that. I'm not doing enough damage. Yes, yes, these guys. Oh, what's that thing? I'm also getting a strange surplus of keys for the first time ever. So that's all right. Eight keys now. Our next item room gives us Air Force Metal. Increase your weapon damage when you're in the air. Oh, that's kind of fun. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but suddenly I have 183 coins. I must have picked something up without noticing it, which means I can shoot that fast, which basically means I can kill things very quickly, and that definitely includes myself. Is this a double locked door? What's behind a double locked door? A room with all the treasures of the world, but also just a few uh, mediocre items so far, though there are a lot of chests in here. It goes deeper and deeper. I mean, I guess I've got the keys and crystals to go at least a little ways then. Got some coins, got some stuff. I have five keys left. I need one key. I'm going to do one more door. Or I didn't mean to turn that chest into one of those chests. Uh, that's okay. We'll kind of go around that and hurt myself anyways. Very smart. All for stuff I didn't actually need anyways. Since I do have 200 coins. Uh, okay, I guess we have only so many chances to get in there. Never mind. That was a further waste of coins. Three hearts, four shields. Let's do this. Charlie. I don't think I fight Charlie very often. I don't think Charlie's going to like what happens. Oh, I forgot to use my power too, so I can do extra damage. Charlie's going to drop somewhere here, and then Charlie's going to take a lot of damage. Whoops. Charlie's going to be difficult, because Charlie's going to land on my head a lot. And that's bad for me. All right, I've got to start timing this better, so I stop getting stuff dropped on my head. Uh, uh-huh, there you... Whoops, okay, I'm hurting myself more than the boss is hurting me. Which isn't a great surprise at this point, but there you go. I thought I was going to lose more health than that. That wasn't going very well. Add a heart container. That's big helpful. I want to check out this door in case I can buy a shield. You cannot buy a shield. There is an item here for 70. I don't know what it does. If I knew what the one that prevented bomb damage looked like, I would absolutely buy it because I think it would keep me safe. For now, I guess I'll just be happy being a terrifying glass cannon. It's all going wrong in this room somehow. I don't even know what hit me initially. I think my explosion hit something too close to me. And yep, this one's going to be a little bit difficult. All right, we're already heading back to the store so I can buy that heart that I saw because I'm hurting myself a lot. 15 coins, well spent. Wish I knew what that did. This is a convenient room to find. Oh good, we have Jack back. Here's what I wanted to make things more complicated. Here's the tricky thing about these rooms. Everything moves so quickly and I need a little bit of space on everything to be able to kill it, otherwise I hurt myself. But I love the fact that every time I pick up a coin, I get a little bit quicker. The cactus baby? Well, okay, I got all sorts of stuff going on. I need to find some shields before the boss fight though, or it's not really looking great. Whatever this is will probably save me. Emerald bracelet. Every time you pick up a coin, there's a chance you'll get extra bombs. Not exactly what I needed. I have 11 grenades currently and already there's too many explosions. Only four hearts and we're going to fight the boss, which is Argus. Not exactly the easiest boss to fight. Hopefully my damage carries me through this in some way, but I'm not super confident about this. Doing lots of damage though. There's already a heart on the ground. Ow, didn't mean to. Yep. It's just... Okay, I don't know what's happening anymore. 
Those stupid bombs from Jack are kind of what's screwing me up. I think we could probably hurt it at this point though. Right, this is the one where you gotta be moving a lot, otherwise you're gonna take a lot of damage. I'm down to half health, he's down to half health. I don't know how we managed to survive that, but we did. Stop number one, the shop. We're buying whatever we can to help us. Just gotta take it nice and slow from here. So far, I've actually been making my health back a little bit, despite how hard these rooms can be. I saw a teleporting guy. Yep, they're down there now. That's fun. They usually teleport pretty close to me, so I just gotta kinda keep moving. And one of my idiots is actually blocking a lot of bullets for me, and that's definitely helping. How many shields did I just have? Did I just hurt myself in a really bad way? The problem is if an enemy spawns in my face, I fired that many explosions. And that hurts a lot. The shooting is getting faster. I think I'm gonna have to watch a replay back, but I feel like every room I go into, I shoot something right in front of me somehow, and I don't know what it is I'm hitting. My fingers leveled up into a, what was it, vibrant ball? Locks all kind of bullets, explodes after taking a certain number of hits. On death, it will explode. More explosions. I want less explosions, honestly. I was smart enough to run myself out of keys, but I have almost 300 coins and lion head gear. The more pets you have, the more damage your gun does. What? Oh, I'm hitting my own 8 ball. That's what's hurting. Okay, I want this thing gone because that's just hurting me more than it's helping. I wonder if I could find a way to kill it. It only has 5 out of 6 HP left. Three chests, not one key or shield. This room is too small for comfort and I keep hitting my stupid ball and exploding myself. These small rooms are uncomfortable, especially now that I have to pay attention to the ball placement. So there's officially 300 coins. Whoops. Yeah, I've got to stop doing that, but the fire is that fast. I'm actually going to spend money on a key right now just to make sure I have one moving forward. You don't want to run out of keys. We might as well do this because it's probably going to be about equal difficulty to the boss. Right, so far so good. Watching that stupid ball of mine. Hit myself with one explosion so far. Now it's just these guys that are also going to be... Wow, take a lot of my health. Alright, we got one heart left. This challenge room might have been a bad idea. Depending on what that item does, we did get a big gold coin, so that puts us up to 334 coins. I got half a shield and upgraded my weapon. Now, uh, it looks like that. And I just forgot and took myself down to half a heart, shooting my stupid silver ball. So now we're in desperation mode to find any health at all, so we're doing things like that to find a shield. One and a half pieces of health so far. There's another chest somewhere down over here that I'm going to see if I can get to. Nope, it's way up there. I can fight the boss like this. I don't think I'm going to last long. I don't have a choice. The stupid ball is down to 1 HP. I probably hurt it myself. It stays in the same orbit for me, I think, so I can't really push it away to hurt it. I think. I'm scared to try because I'm going to lose health. So now I just got to avoid whatever it is these things do. And I'm not familiar with these, but my damage will carry me. It always does. Nothing ever goes wrong with my plans. You can see those guys. Actually, this isn't so bad. Wait, which one? Okay. Uh-oh. Nope, I'm dead. I thought I was actually going to pull that out at the last second. That's a shame. That could have been a really fun run had I been immune to bombs or not being circled by stupid things that would explode me. 